I was recently asked by one of my subscribers to make a video about what to do when both players are on the black. If the game gets to a point where only the black remains, but it's not in an easily potable position, then you're left with two choices. Either you go for game and attempt to double, or you play safe and wait for your opponent to make a mistake. The problem with taking the aggressive approach is that you're often taking on a shot with a low probability of success. To make that worse, if you miss when you're both on the black, then it's highly likely that you'll end up leaving your opponent with a fairly simple pot. I personally prefer to take the second option and play safe and wait for my opponent to make a mistake. Now, obviously we can't play a snooker with it just being the black ball on the table, so we're looking to leave our opponent in a similar situation as we've just found ourselves, on the black ball, but with no easy pot. There are several ways of doing this, so let's have a look at a few options and what you need to be careful of. The first option is to play gently towards the black. The shot needs to be firm enough for the black to hit the cushion, but soft enough to get the white fairly close to the black. We also need to aim carefully so that the white remains in line with the black, leaving no pot. The advantage of leaving the white close to the black is that it makes queuing for your opponent quite difficult, and it's not unusual to see a player twitch on the shot and not hit a cushion, resulting in two shots and probably losing the frame. If your opponent successfully plays a similar shot, then don't be afraid to just repeat this. Don't be pressured into trying something different. Often when both players play the same shot several times, you'll see one get frustrated with the situation, and this is often when they make the mistake. It's also important when playing these shots that you check that the black ball is not touching the cushion. If the black is touching the cushion, then you'd need to play a different shot as you'd need the white to touch a cushion after contacting the black. Eventually your opponent might try something different and leave you with a chance of a pot. The thing you need to be aware of when rolling up to the black is leaving any sort of angle. Obviously if you roll too far you might leave a pot. However if you find yourself close to the black but with no pot but a bit of an angle then you have another very effective option. The option here is to clip off the black as finely as possible so that it hardly moves and then try to put as much distance between the black ball and the cue ball as possible whilst keeping nice and straight so that you don't give them any angle. This then gives your opponent a very difficult shot. They face going for a double and risk missing it, or rolling up again. However, rolling up from a distance is fraught with its own dangers. You risk not reaching the ball if it's too soft, bouncing both balls away if it's too hard, or the white being offline, either down to bad queuing or a slightly wonky table. Personally, I find if you can get this distance between the white and the black whilst keeping the black in a difficult position, then this is your best attacking but defensive option. You're forcing your opponent to weigh up the risks of doubles or table rolls, and there's no easy option for them. The little roll-up shots are good, but you're still giving your opponent the option of doing the same thing in return. One final thing to consider is making shots difficult to reach. If the black is close to the centre of the top or the bottom cushion, then leaving the white close can make it difficult for an opponent to reach. Playing little delicate shots is hard enough, but when you're reaching for them it's even harder. You can also take advantage of what hand your opponent plays with. If they're right-handed, then leaving the ball slightly to the left can make it very difficult for them to reach although you do need to be aware of Smart Alex who can use either hand. Whichever shot you decide to play, the underlying tactic here is patience. Bide your time and let your opponent be the one who ends up getting frustrated with the situation. Even though the shots may be simple, give them the same due care and attention you would a pot. 
and hopefully in the end you'll get your reward. If you want to see more practice routines and pull tutorials then please remember to subscribe and if you're interested in any of the equipment I use in this video then there are links in the description below.